It's my pleasure to introduce to you the candidates for this year's International Futurity. The first animal is entry 2014, Random Luck B. T. Rose, presented by Allison L. Thompson of Darlington, Wisconsin. Entry 2015, Bittersweet Legacy Virginia, exhibited by Troy and Lindsay Neville and Paul Zimmerman of New Glarus, Wisconsin. Virginia is followed by entry 2016. She is Jody Roscoe Shamrock, exhibited by Jody Capini of Lowville, New York. Next, we have entry 2017, Old Mill Goliath Tiffany, exhibited by Brittany Thompson of Blacksburg, Virginia. Entry 2019 is Jubilant Lady Beretta, exhibited by Beth Nelson of Blair, Wisconsin. Entry 2020 is Random Luck S. Peekaboo E.T., presented by Megan Douglas of Darlington, Wisconsin. Entry 2021 is Cruzy's Frontier Jumpy OCS, exhibited by Rick Cruzy of Earlville, Iowa. Our next candidate is entry 2022, Onward Vigor Violet, exhibited by Dennis Warden of Olwine, Iowa. She is followed by Blessing Braden Bounty, entry 2023, who is presented by Cade Blessing of Blessing Farms of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Entry 2024 is Onward Vengeance Alleluia, exhibited by Logan Warden of Olwine, Iowa. Entry 2025, Hill Point VB Agenda Tutti, exhibited by Vigley Farms Incorporated of Monticello, Wisconsin. The next entry, entry 2027, Random Luck Legacy Parasol ET, exhibited by Allard's Farm Incorporated of Darlington, Wisconsin. And ladies and gentlemen, your final candidate in this futurity class is entry 2029, M&M Wonderment Shiloh ET, exhibited by M&M Swiss, Matt, Megan, Jake, and Levi Stussel of Alma Center, Wisconsin. Again, your candidates for the 2014 World Dairy Expo International Futurity. The placings are completed in the International Futurity competition. It's my pleasure to announce to you at this time that the third place winner is entry 2014, Random Luck B. T. Rose, exhibited by Allison Thompson of Darlington, Wisconsin. Second place in the class and bread known goes to entry 2020, Random Luck S. Peekaboo E.T., exhibited by Megan Douglas of Darlington, Wisconsin. And your winner of the Futurity and the Best Daughter goes to 2017 Old Mill Goliath Tiffany, exhibited by Brittany Thompson of Blacksburg, Virginia. Congratulations. And now for his remarks, Judge Topp. We have a terrific uh, Futurity here. We have junior three-year-olds and three-year-olds in the mix, but I think we got a handy winner today for us. She's a cow, she admire this cow. She's so stylish. So angular, you love the femininity that she has, but most of all, what an incredible udder she has. You love the veination on this mammary system. She's snug in her attachments. When you get behind her, what a beautiful high wide rear udder attachment she has. When she goes around the ring, she just glides. Uh, just a beautiful cow to start our maturity and uh, you know, just, uh, just gonna get better the older she gets. Cow coming out in second, you know, cow just a little taller, you know, but today she just don't have, it's not as correct in the rump today. She's also not as high and wide in her rear udder attachment today. Uh, but a cow, you admire the cow for her size and scale, her stretch, and she follows with that sharpness and dariness, the angularity. Just a little longer body cow all the way through. When you get behind her, she's got a little more width, but a beautiful cow coming out in third. Not a big cow coming out in third, but she is so correct. She's a cow, you love the mammary system on this cow. She's snug in her attachment. You can get behind her. She's got plenty of height and width to rear her attachment as well. She goes ahead of the cow and forth. The cow and forth is a cow. You know, I think get this cow calved in, she can move in up a, two spots in this class. But to, today, she's just getting a little stale, maybe not as sharp and dairy and clean as her first three cows. But when you get behind this cow, you love that high, wide rear at her attachment. She's got just maybe like to snug that fore at her touch, uh, attachment up to the body wall a little nicer. Maybe shorten up them front teeth, but a cow, you love the frame on this cow. And that frame goes ahead of the cow coming out in fifth. You admire the fifth place cow. Not a real big open rib cow, but a cow you get behind her. You love the high wide rear udder attachment. Maybe like to shorten them teeth up on that fore udder. 
but you love the mammary system on this cow. A cow that spells dairiness all the way through. The sixth place cow just snuck out of here as a cow, uh, just having a little bit of a belly ache today. You admire this cow from the side view cow, the black cow. She's a cow, beautiful side profile cow. When you get behind her, she don't hide the height and width of rear rudder attachments that our first five cows do. But she goes ahead of the seventh cow on that sharpness and dariness, a little more uphill run, a little more spring and openness rib than the real nice, well-balanced cow coming out in seventh. But a beautiful group of cows here in our three-year-old maturity.